Learning objectives include various elements needed for microbial growth. Carbon is uh, essential uh, for every microbe. It basically provides a, a backbone for all organic matter, uh, organic compounds. And it is one of the, the most important requirements. Uh, it is said that almost half of the dry weight of microbes is composed of carbon. On the basis of carbon, we categorized uh, uh, microbes into different groups. Uh, chemoheterotrophs were the one that used the um, energy source. They derived their energy source from uh, chemicals, organic or inorganic chemicals, and also used carbon uh, from organic or inorganic uh, compounds. Uh, chemoheterotrophs, they derived their energy from um, inorganic and organic compounds and carbon source they use from carbon dioxide. Similarly, photoautotrophs, they derive their energy from photons from light and used um, carbon dioxide uh, as a carbon source. Bacteria or microbes also need nitrogen, sulfur and phosphorus. Nitrogen and sulfur are needed for protein synthesis whereas nitrogen and phosphorus is used for making DNA and RNA and also in the synthesis of ATP. Nitrogen uh, is obtained by decomposing proteins like we provide uh, in the lab peptones and other protein stuff, meat extract as a um, uh, nutrient to the bacteria. So they use uh, those proteins for the nitrogen source. They can also derive nitrogen from ammonia ions and also they can some, some use from nitrates and some are able to fix uh, nitrogen from the gas, from the air. Similarly, sulfur needs are met by sulfate ions, hydrogen sulfide and sulfur containing amino acids. So various microbes have various ways to obtain sulfur from various substances. Similarly, phosphorus and other elements could be obtained, um, like phosph phosphorus is obtained from phosphate ions. Similarly, trace elements, uh, although we don't uh, put these, we don't provide uh, speci specially these uh, trace elements, they're assumed to be present in the medium, whatever we use, it already contains these trace elements. Uh, so they're not really uh, specially put uh, or used. In summary, carbon is the most abundant, uh, abundantly needed requirement. Uh, nitrogen is next. Uh, it is used for protein uh, uh, and nucleic acid synthesis. Sulfur uh, and phosphorus are also needed for uh, nucleic acids and proteins. Uh, there are trace elements also required, although we don't um, specifically put those in the medium. They're assumed to be present in other substances that we use as nutrients for bacteria.